Let's take a look at estimating. Now when you're estimating, what we're going to do is just going to round every number to a suitable degree of accuracy. So if we look at the first one, give an estimate for 43 times 28. Well, 43 times 28, that's going to be quite a tricky calculation without a calculator, but we can estimate it quite easily. But what we're going to do is just instead of using 43 and 28, let's call 43, let's call it 40, and let's call 28. 30 and 40 times 30 that's quite easy 4 times 3 is 12 we ignored those two zeros so we can put them back so uh, an estimate for 43 times 28 would be 1200 so in this uh, in that first example we rounded everything to the nearest 10 in this next example 8.9 why don't we just call that 9 rounding to the nearest whole number and 3.3 let's just round that down to 3 and nine divided by three equals three. For this final example, give an estimate for buying 18 microwave ovens, which cost 213.85 each. Well, let's call this 20. And you could round this to, I suppose, to the nearest 10, which would be 210. Um, and I'm sure that would be absolutely acceptable to do that. With, with estimating um, in the exams, they normally give you a range that you can fall within. So it's not like there's only one correct answer here, but you might want to just round this down to 200 pounds and say 200 times 20, two times two is four. Um, let's put back those three zeros that we ignored. So one, two, three, 4,000 pounds, but absolutely fine if you wanted to, to, to round it to 210, which would be slightly more accurate, two times 21, is 42 put back the two zeros so i'm certain either of these um, examples would would be perfectly acceptable here